Hey guys, so today I want to compare the iPhone 5 on iOS 7 beta 2 versus the iPhone 4s over here having the same. Uh, so you can see here that this is the iPhone 4s uh, at the bottom or at the back here and also the, that's not the iPhone 4 up here at the top because you don't have that antenna thing up there. You, and then we also of course can see that this is the latest version of iOS because we can find the voice memo app in here so you can create voice memos and things and of course that's something that I've been going over in other videos uh, the first thing that we can say here if we do let's see here if we do compare these two devices uh, I did a review uh, when I was comparing the iPhone 4 which is even older than the iPhone 4s of course the iPhone 4 came out 2010 uh, that one is even slower in terms of the UI performance of course because pretty sure the iPhone 4 only is a single core processor while well, this one has like dual core goodness so it's not super bad here on the iPhone 4 uh, but of course uh, it can't really match up the speed uh, of what you would get here on the iPhone 5 uh, definitely not uh, so you can see here when we go and just change a page here you can definitely see there a, a performance difference uh, and uh, if we would bring up the iPhone 4 here as well you would see that that one is way 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 slower uh, but it's still pretty impressive that uh, uh, an iPhone from 2010 still can run the latest version of iOS 7 beta uh, which is pretty nice which is pretty nice uh, if we go down at the bottom of this you can see that we actually do get transparency on both devices compared to the iPhone 4 which didn't have this cool transparency in the background because that would probably lag here and uh, one more time here you can feel that the overall snappiness uh, is a little bit uh, quicker here uh, on the iPhone 5 not super bad though uh, on the iPhone 4 and if you take one and take this one up and let's bring up this one as well uh, we can see here also one more time that uh, the iPhone 5 seems to be having a little bit better transparency here in the background and you can see the new logo down here uh, on the new iOS 7 beta update of course let's see here uh, if you go that up again, uh, you can see here that you also get some transparency, but it doesn't seem to be as powerful uh, as what you would get on the iPhone 5. So a little bit of a difference there. You can see here your app. Um, overall UI differences in iOS 7 compared to earlier versions of iOS, like iOS 6, is of course uh, they had a blue or black and um, kind of white theme and uh, it's very very different in terms of it. you have a lot of black colors and white and then also very very colorful uh, definitely something that we can see here very 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 colorful more like that cartoon feeling uh, so that, that's kind of funny of course uh, of course I might also compare separate apps Let's see here uh, we do have of course I've been doing full videos comparing everything uh, you can see I have a button here that I put on top of the iPhone 5. Uh, it's like a metallic button. Uh, I can definitely feel that the button, the, the, the home button here, definitely feels better also on the iPhone. And you can see here when we go in and out, you can see some almost some choppiness here uh, on the iPhone 4S. So that's something that you kind of can expect. Uh, which could be a little bit disappointing because this is uh, an iPhone from 2011. Uh, or wait a sec, yeah, 2011 and the Samsung with their Galaxy S2 also came out 2011 uh, that one doesn't actually have super much lag in its latest Android update actually but this one with the latest iOS is uh, actually very very choppy there uh, of course the iPhone 5 which is the latest iPhone doesn't have or have no problems whatsoever here in terms of the UI or scrolling here when we go into the multitasking area which is very very updated compared to earlier versions and you can also see here that I do, didn't really have that much uh, open up apps here uh, on the iPhone 4s but it still was a little bit slow there so uh, I really do hope that the next version of uh, of Apple's iOS uh, or uh, I, I was kind of expecting that it was going to be quicker uh, on the iPhone 4s because the iPhone 4s is not super old uh, so a little bit disappointing there but then of course we're going to get a new iPhone pretty soon it's going to be even quicker 
and then iPhone 5 that's going to be cheaper and that's going to be so far awesome and hopefully it will have a bigger display but it's probably not going to have a bigger display. Uh, I might also go over separate uh, app updates as well like the Safari browser. Uh, so I'm just going to bring it up here pretty quick. Just going to load up Apple's website. And when I did this test with the iPhone 4, uh, I was trying to scroll here to go to the next page. I did have some difficulties. Uh, you can see here that, wait a sec. Let's tap here to see. Okay, we did lose the internet there, even though they are connected to the same. You can even see that it takes some, a little bit more loading time here uh, on the iPhone 4S. Let's see, can we change pages? Can we go up and down? Also, almost a little bit choppy here on the iPhone 5, so probably gonna see some more, yeah, we can see some more choppiness here. Kind of funny on Apple's own website. You can definitely see the more vibrant display here of the iPhone, uh, on the new iPhone. Something we all probably do enjoy a ton. Let's say, uh, I wonder what happens if I, let's try to reload this page. And you can see that we do have some Wi-Fi problems here on the iPhone 4S. So it seems to be way more stable here uh, on, the, on the iPhone 5. And you did see definitely there in the graphical stuff also quicker. There we go. You can see way loader, uh, load up time here. Here we get problems one more time on the iPhone 4S. Pretty funny on Apple's own website. Weird, random. It could also just be my Wi-Fi. It could, it could, it could, it could. And when we jump out of an app also, we can definitely see uh, speed differences over there. And uh, let's also just do a quick little boot up and boot down test. The iPhone 4 actually, the earlier iPhone was booting down quicker. Now this seems to be having the same kind of boot down time. Uh, but then I think the iPhone or iOS 7 beta 2 for the iPhone 4 was a little bit more a slim version because it didn't have the transparency cool effects. So let's boot these up. Let's go. A little bit quicker here, or actually a lot quicker here on the iPhone 5 to boot it up. There we go, popping up here on the iPhone 4S. Uh, you can see a difference here though that, let's see. Okay, there we go. Still loading up. You can see I have a like, kind of like a live wallpaper here on the iPhone 4S. Uh, and that's something that uh, Apple called like dynamic wallpapers and let's see if we can get kind of the same wallpapers here on both devices both devices yes you can actually do that which is pretty nice you do also have the stills which is just a more of a like regular wallpapers a lot of the wallpapers is wallpapers that we have been seeing uh, already in other releases here. Uh, if you want to see specific full videos of Safari or browser or maybe even gaming uh, on iOS 7, please let me know about that and I will see what I can do. Uh, and that's definitely going to be nice. Also, if I'm just going to go over it here pretty quick, uh, all of the updates uh, with the be new beta. Siri has new male and female voices, so... What's up? What you're doing? Just thinking. I'm really sorry about this. About what? I can't take it. My wet search turned this.
yourself. Hi. Wow, I really do have some problems here with the iPhone 4S, both in terms of Wi-Fi there and Siri, but Siri, of course, it could be something with the Wi-Fi, but then, of course, they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi. Uh, everything seems to be just, uh, if you take a look at it overall, it used to be much better here uh, on the iPhone, especially in terms of smoothness. Uh, of course, iCloud now is back uh, with Find My iPhone also in the new beta. Uh, you have a new clock icon, a new button in weather, so you can add more cities. Uh, you have a revamp kind of like reminders app as well, which is a little bit different here in terms of how it looks like. Uh, the weather app, which has this feature here where you can add more cities. Uh, you also have some minor tweaks on the lock screen uh, when you're playing music with Spotify. It looks a little bit different. You should also be able with like photo stream upload screenshots, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so um, if you want to see my full reviews, of course, please let me know about that. And you can, uh, or I mean, you can check them out on my page. Uh, you can also see here, if you take a look at color accuracy, how a little bit like, uh, looks way more washed out here on the iPhone, uh, I mean on the iPhone 4S, than what it does uh, on the iPhone 5, definitely if you ask me, uh, then of course you can definitely see that the display is a little bit bigger. Can't wait to see the new iPhone coming out with LTE Advanced, maybe the iPhone 5S, is that's going to be the name, that's going to be awesome, it's going to be great, can't wait to see that, have a good day.